Hello and welcome. Let's start by uh, reading this question together. Uh, it says, students organize a 12-hour dance-a-thon as a fundraiser for the summer camp. And the graph below represents the amount of money they raised during the first eight hours. They want to know, what was the amount of money raised per hour during the first eight hours? So, so they want to know per hour, right? They want to know what kind of unit rate here. I noticed that we start at zero, zero, so there's no money in the beginning, and after eight hours, they reach $240. That's the point eight, right, comma, 240. So to figure out the rate per hour, I'm just gonna take the total amount of money, which is $240, and divide it by eight. This gives me 30, it's $30 per hour. And just to confirm that this makes sense, if you look at our points in our graph, we can see the first point, one hour, we're at about $30. At two hours, we're at 60, so we make another $30. At three hours, we make another $30. Uh, it's $90, and so on and so forth. And that's essentially our slope, right? Our slope is our rate, oops, our slope is the rate per hour. And you might also represent it as a slope triangle. Uh, for example, if I go up from the uh, origin, I go up 240 and over 8. Our slope is our rise, 240 divided by our run, or 240 divided by 8, and that's 30. So this is really just rise, delta y, over run, delta x. So that's slope. And then there's an extension problem here. They want to know, just during the next four hours of the dance a students raise money at twice the hourly rate of the first eight hours. So first, I'm just going to make a note here, because if we were at 30 before, now that means our rate is now equal to $60 per hour, right? Uh, on the coordinate plane on the previous page, okay, this is on two pages originally, complete the graph in the next four hours to represent the total amount of money raised at the dance dance-a-thon. Use words and numbers on the following lines to explain how you knew you were where to draw the graph. So I'm going to draw it and then explain as I go, kind of explain the things you might write down. So I know it's $60 per hour. So what I would do to find the next point is use a slope. I would say, well, here are 240. So over the next hour, we go to nine hours, we're going to increase now by $60 to 300, right? Essentially doubling our rate. And then another hour, so we're at eight, it's at 249 hours, we added on $60 because we're raising the rate. And then at 10 hours, it's going to be at 360, right? because we're adding $60 per hour now, it's our new slope. And then I would say at 11, right, we'll be at f or 20, because I'm adding $60 each time. And they want over the next four hours, so I think we gotta go all the way to 12. So at 12, we add another 60, and that's 12 hours, it's $480. So $480, that's our new total. And to complete the graph, I might just take a ruler and connect these dots. And that's, I'm not so sure about that, actually. I mean, I would connect the dots just because I think that works here. But also, essentially, we know that, I mean, it's kind of confusing to me because are we collecting money at all times, right? Is it every second? Is it really constant at all times? Or is it every hour we're just meeting those totals? I would imagine there's really some wav wavering in here. In that case, like, you really can't connect perfectly proportional or linear throughout this time. Uh, in that case, this line is just a model of what's happening. So if I was going to explain it, again, I would just explain how I got these points by adding one hour, 9, 10, 11, 12. The hours are going up by one each time. And the amounts of money being raised are being up by 60 each time because our new rate is now $60 per hour. All right, I hope this helped.